and Kurt Angle make your ankle snap. Three amigos like Eddie, but don't lie, you steal. Only cheat when we got her, but to win, we will. Mike skills like Dusty, but go hard like Brock. I'm a stunner like Austin, dropping elbows like Mach. Y'all don't want to see the finish, because it's us on top. One, two, three, get the V and get a warrior pop. Welcome to another edition of the Bump Boy Reviews. Tonight we have Raw. No Will tonight. Unfortunately, he's taking care of some business. But we do have Dan. Dan, say hello to the people. What's up? What's up, guys? It's Dan. Strike about 92 here. Yep, and DGI's DJ OE. So, tonight we're reviewing Raw. Danny, tonight is the first time, I think, in a while, Raw will not be a chore for us. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a lot better. I think the addition of Cody has really, like, helped balance it. I, I agree. Think the end of this brand split. It does seem like they're teasing the end of the brand split, which we're going to get into, especially at the very end. That's It's very heavily yeah. implied. We should probably um, start off with the um, – we'll start off with Ms. TV. Yeah, let's start off with that part. Um, So – Miz opens up the show. Of course, we get. So, Cody came out, and he came out with all the pyro. Uh, I'll rest in peace to the Cody Vader. I to the Cody what? To the Cody Vader. His little <laughs> elevator coming up from the bottom of the ring. Yeah. I think it's better this way. Because I don't think the set's made for it, like Dynamite. No, no. But he had a lot of pyro, and even the Miz, you know, you know, chimed in and was like, "Well, he used all of our pyro budget." And like, <laughs> I was just like, "Wow." Uh, did you also see that uh, Cody said two bad words in that promo? Uh yeah, but I think he held back on one for um when he was no, he said uh, the S word. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, for bullshit. But the um the coat, he said belts, and he said wrestlers. Oh, the two forbidden words. Yeah. He was like, they're titles. Belt, hold your pants up. And then he was like, wrestlers, we're superstars over here, buddy. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. He's like, superstars, wrestlers, I don't care. He's like, I can tell you don't care. <laughs> it was a great segment. I thought the segment was amazing. Dude, he's gotten so much better since he was there last time. Definitely. All those years, like, and it was all those smooth. Years ago, it was clean. Like, he is... A ten times better in ring performer and on the mic. I, I I completely agree, and the Miz looked good in the uh, segment too. Like you know, it just wasn't you know Cody looking over it. Like the Miz looked strong too, um, and you know he was able to clap back. Um, but overall, I think it was a great segment. Um, and. Question, you want to just jump into the uh, match you had right after? Just get the Cody stuff out of the way? Yeah, might as well. So, so what were your opinions again, on this match? I thought the match was clean. Very clean. The match, I thought, was really good. Um, it wasn't a banger like I thought. I know you guys thought, may have thought it was like a lot better than I thought it was. Um, but overall, I think everything executed was really well done. Mm-hmm. And I'm so, happy they um, and I'm happy they uh, put more like power into the crossroads Cody cutter. Oh yeah, definitely. Instead, it didn't take two to knock out the Miz. Yeah, just one, and it kept them down. Um, Which but, I think is better. And the figure four that the Miz applied, that was a great moment. I thought, you know, just how, you know how Cody was slowly, slowly, like it took him a minute to like roll that over finally. And when he finally did it, uh, got it, you know, the Miz kept, like he was in the middle of the ring and it was him fighting towards the rope and stuff like that. At one point, you know, they're bent like 90 degrees. And I'm like, like this actually looks like it hurt. Like I was watching that segment and I was like, I put Will on that move many times. And when he reverses it, it is God awful. And the fact that now Miz and Cody are bent at a 90-degree angle, it was just a great moment overall. I just thought the whole slapping when they were slapping each other, when Cody was trying to break it by having him slap him. Yeah. And then you had Seth coming out in the middle of it. Seth came out at the beginning to, like, sit at ringside. I thought they were going to put him on commentary, but I guess they didn't. 
yeah, he, he was just like fooling around and stuff like that. But, you know, at the end of the match, you know, of course, Cody won. But we're going to get Rollins, uh, Cody Rhodes clean. too. Cody clean, one, two, three. Very clean. Honestly, I think this is a very big test to see. I think I think he's going to be pushed to the moon. Who, Cody? Yeah. Yeah. I think he's going to get all the way to the top. I don't know if he'll be the one to dethrone Roman, um, but I think he's going to have a good opportunity. I think, to I think Stink may be SummerSlam. I think they could play it like Cody gets the title and then gets cashed in on. Mm, I could see that. To slowly see, move away from that storyline. I could see that. I could see Cody like beating Roman at like SummerSlam and having like Austin Theory cash in or something. To having Vince be like, as you know, Austin Theory is probably going to win Mr. Money in the Bank. I, I would like him to win Mr. Money in the Bank, you know. And I would like for him next week to win, you know, the United States title match that they announced um, in the show. Um, so I think Theory's going to have a good match. And the fact that they dropped Austin, he's like, you know, Austin doesn't fit me. Uh, you know, referring back to, you know, when he got stunned by Stone Cold Steve Austin, like, you know, Austin isn't for me. You know, I'm just Theory now. So. It's interesting. It's different, think- but it, it was expected, you know. He's got two. He's got two na- two uh, names. You can only have one in WWE. You know what I'm saying? Oh, how long before Cody drops his last name? About <laughs> he's just Cody. <laughs> so you can be Cody. You can be Rhodes. He was like, "Damn, I'll be Rhodes." <laughs> it's probably what he pick. <laughs> he's like, I worked so hard to get that part. Might as well keep it. So, <laughs> uh, at what at the very beginning of the show, we had Dominic versus Veer Mahan, and Veer, um. It was supposed to be Ray, correct? Uh, no, I guess they changed it. Yeah, it was supposed to be Ray, and then they changed it to uh, Dominic. Dominic, Dominic got Rompel stomped, got the clutch in for a while. People were pulling him off, and he broke that, his collarbone. It looked like it hurt. Yeah, that did not look too good. Honestly, you have Dominic not show up for like three weeks or not show up for months. Yeah. Just to make Veer look like a complete and total monster. I agree. He seems like a cartoon, honestly. He seems like a cartoon villain. He does. He seems like he's got this cartoon villain vibe. Like a wacky race type uh, vibe you're getting from him. Yes. (laughs) Yes, definitely. Like a a crazy, like, cartoon-looking bad guy that you see, like, in a, I don't even know, like a Cartoon Network cartoon. Yeah, like he's part of like a main uh, antagonist and stuff like that. So I thought yeah. that was interesting. Uh, I think another good match we had tonight was um, AJ Styles versus Damian Priest. Oh, that match. That match was getting so good and then the stupid lights. I don't know what happened at one point. Um, so the lights came off. And everyone was gone. What happened at the end? Uh, they went to commer. Okay, so lights went off. Damien did like his weird color thing that Edge does. Where I thought the fiend was coming. Yeah, and then next thing you know, it ends, and then they went to commercial break, and it comes back, and the match was over. So there's no match. So they just ended the match. The lights just went out and the match just ends. There's like no no one's pinned. So the match. Yeah, just... I had to, I had to go back and I was like, wait a minute, is the ref counting? Because was like, one, two, three, and the next thing you know, the lights come off. So I was like, wait, the fucking fiend? And then I, you know, it just like it was like went to black, and I was just like, wait, what the fuck? Like, no. Yeah. Did then he I get counted out, or did he get? Is it a no contest? I skipped. I skipped back, and I was like, let me skip ahead. Um, to make sure nothing happened, or no, I skipped ahead and I, I was like, let me skip back. Maybe I missed the count count out. But it was just a weird segment, and um, I don't know how I felt about that. It was weird. I thought it was a stupid ending. It's very one of, stupid. It's ending. one of my but the match was quality. It's one of my few complaints about this raw. My other complaint is the next match. Get into it, bro. The next complaint is the Liv Morgan Naomi match. 
that we were supposed to get a women's tag team match between Rhea and Liv versus Naomi and Sasha. Agreed. And we no explanation of where the fuck Rhea is. I don't know if they said it like in a storyline how Rhea like ditched her. So apparently what I found out was Rhea was in COVID protocol. I heard rumors of it, I think a couple days ago, but I thought I was just like, oh, they're just rumors. It's protocol or whatever. But right as the match was starting, someone said, oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Smith or something. Yeah, Jimmy Smith from the Raw commentary. Sorry, I had some hiccups right there. He, uh, they're like, oh, she, he's in uh, COVID protocol. I'm like, why didn't you just start off with that? You know, hey, you know, unfortunately, you know, Rhea couldn't be with us tonight. You know, she's um, she's a little under the weather. But, you know, that match will happen next week. We got this match going on tonight. So, I, you know, explain it to us because people are on Twitter like, I, I guess Rhea never really got the match. <laughs> like, I guess she was flexing. So. I mean, you could have just played the storyline, but whatever. I agree. And they're like, wow, this was their moment to turn heel or yada, yada. They're going to save like, oh. Backlash. Backlash is literally yeah. just WrestleMania 2.0. I agree. But Naomi got the win for this one. Roll up. I don't think roll we're, up. Um, yeah, of course, you know, roll up for the win. Um, the, And the, that was a decent the segment. Landing. But... The woods landing. Oh, man. But I think the next segment was a decent segment. I was actually impressed with it. Wasn't too disappointed with it. Was the MVP lounge with Omos and Bobby Lashley. You know, Bobby, of course, in the ring. You know, demanding MVP get out here. MVP, of course, not going to the lounge. Basically saying, you know, I did, you did, you basically got to the top, but it was with me. And at one point you felt like you didn't need me. And that's when we came crashing back down. Um, Omos is learning to be the better better version of you. So I, I thought MVP made some good points. Um, and Lashley wasn't that bad on the mic. He wasn't too cringeworthy. No, he's gotten – he's a lot better than – I think he's been working with Brock. <laughs> you know what I'm proud about? He didn't bring up his sisters. <laughs> Remember that segment from when he first came back? You know, me and my sisters. <laughs> like, Bobby, I don't care no. about your sisters. Didn't they have, like, people, like, dressed as his sisters? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I, does he have sisters? Does he legitimately have sisters? But this is a good segment. Um, You know, he basically – they basically hinted to Omas and Lashley too. Um, and overall, I thought it was a good segment. Um, you know, Lashley hinted very baby face. You know, once I deal with Omas, then I'm coming for you. Um, but overall, I love the segment. Yeah, definitely. Very good segment. And I think that it was a great, I think Omas with MVP is going to be big for Omas. Yes, or, or it has the potential to be, you know. I'm not I don't think Omas is there in the ring, but I was listening to AJ explain, you know, hey, you know, I had to teach Omas in the ring as those happen live. You know, there's still a lot he has to learn. Um, I had to just teach him the basics, that's why he was with me. Um, and I think that's a pretty good explanation of you know what Omas can potentially be, knowing he had AJ to mentor him. Yeah. Um I thought this part was almost other than the main event i thought this was actually the highlight of the night oh, oh yeah, definitely. Couple, i think a couple weeks ago oh oh no i'm going come on the second one i'm going into the 24 7 championship picture that shit i i remember a couple a month ago i was like this is the best part about raw for me yada 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 you know reggie and dana and are engaged Kazawa and tamina are engaged and uh, our truth is party. the priest our troop is going to be the priest next week for a double wedding. Oh, um, he's going to pin. He's going to come pin Carmella at the altar. And then he ceased um, the 21 or 24 seven championship. Um, he's like, you Roll. know, so next week, you know, it ceased. It's the cyst, you know, Dana Brooks. And he, she's like, it's Dana Brooke. And he's like, Dana Brooke. All right. So I thought, I thought that segment was hilarious. Um, I loved it. Oh, even like the Angel Garza and kissing the the brides. I liked it because Tamina sold it. So like when they kissed them, she was like, "Oh, okay." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then since I was just like, 
oh, like, how could you, like, what are you doing? <laughs> and she, she was like, and then he's like, yeah, how about we do some more? And she's like, uh-uh, like, back away. Like, and then so I was like, yeah, that's my girl. Don't touch my girl. So like, that, I, I, like, just in the background, he's like, yeah, that's my girl. Like, because I was hilarious. Has I always been great with this, so. He makes me care about the segment. <laughs> I um, hope he win. I hope he wins the title for some reason. I exactly. I hope they all get into the issue where you know, like something happens, and you know, I don't want to say this, but you know, on the honeymoon or whatever, you know, they're like in the bed making love. Next, you know, ref comes over at one, two, three, and he was like, he's like, heads up, but you're the twenty four seven champ. He was like, what? What? He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm on top or whatever. And he's like. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to what the champ. You, you the champ. I think that'd be a funny moment, but um uh too... I digress to uh PG thirteen. Yes. Way too PG thirteen, but it would be a funny moment. Um so a couple things we did get after the segment oh, was Oh god, this WWE wedding next week's gonna be freaking nuts. <laughs> it's a stacked <laughs> raw. This raw was pretty stacked, and I think next week will be pretty stacked, so this next segment is Adam Pierce and Sonia Deville authorize a uh, uh, United States title shot uh, with Theory and Finn Balor. Elias or Ezekiel, I apologize, Ezekiel will have a lie detector administered from Kevin Owens to make sure he's telling the truth. Then, <laughs> honestly, I can actually get, I can actually go along with this. This, I can be, actually, this, this uh, was actually a lot better. Because Kevin's so good at selling this, he's like, "What do you, this, is how, this is what you guys do. This is what you. This is how you run it around here." Oh, it's, it's funny. It's funny they wouldn't give up his like library card. He's like, he's he's like, I want. He's like, even his library card. It's all confident. Uh, sorry, I can't give that out. It's all confidential. Even his library card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like, "You gotta be kidding me." Uh, and then uh, Deville eventually leaves. I'm like, hey, you know, I gotta head out, but you know, I do have a surprise for Bianca's uh, first challenger. Uh, first challenger. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know after the back or after the match. So you know, we get Bianca versus um, Selena, Queen Zelina. You know, that was a quick squash. Yep, Bianca wins, and drumroll, Danny, who is her opponent? Sonia Deville. Sonia Deville. I I like it, but I don't. At the same time, I'm just saying they're making Sonia look awfully, uh, you know, like she against a uh, Black Lives Matter or something like that. I don't know why every feud is against a black person with her. Maybe it's just coincidence. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. It was making her very racist. It just looks racist. It's not It's not that she is, but that's the vibe I'm getting from this character, and I don't want that them to give off that vibe. It just seems like she's going after you. I know, feel Naomi, like she's Sasha. going to eventually get fired. She has to. Because of this match. I, I think, think that like would be good. Adam Pierce get, gets her fired. And Adam Pierce takes over full control. And he called her out, too. He's like, you know, it's unprofessional. You can't be doing this. You know, you're uh, a WWE person that's supposed to be uh, helping out the wrestlers. Like, what, what the hell is this? So, I think it's a uh, good idea, and i I think it's a good I think it's a good idea for a feud. I feel like this happens. I feel like it's it's a feud that's been done before, but it can be rehashed. Agree, definitely agree. So, and then we we have the match that I thought was going to go on for forty five minutes. But it didn't, luckily, because they gave us a bonus match. I don't know. When AEW does well, it seems like Monday Night Raw does well with tag teams. Um, so I feel like they counterpunch and like they watch what the Young yeah, Bucks I, and FTR did. So we Cody, I feel like Cody's giving them tips. I agree. I feel like they're like, hey, this is what we found out. This is what we happened. Because Cody is a big star, so I, I can see him being in the main event. But I feel like he's like, no, no one's going to want to tune in for that third hour if I'm there. You know, not, not a lot of people watch it. But um, we did get RK Bro versus Alpha Academy. And I thought Chad Gable know, was awesome going out to the ring. Oh, amazing. 
Like they they I thought RK Bro was my favorite tag team. I think Alpha Academy is in my top three. What is it? What is it? What is your top three? Uh RK Bro, Usos, Alpha Academy. And um Alpha Academy and Alpha Academy might be pushing over the Usos. Like I think, you know, they put in the work and Otis looks good and then Gable looks great with this. Like I can watch them have this match over and over and I'm content with it. it they they have great chemistry in the ring. I'm excited to see these titles unified. Agreed. They don't have enough tag teams, I think, to run separate shows. I think just having one tag title that travels would be worth it. Yeah. And at that point, you know, unify the women's as well. Yeah, because then your difference was done. It makes Fox happy and it makes USA happy. And then you give Bianca the inaugural championship. Now you have, if the Usos win it, all your new champion, all your new titles were won by people of color. You don't have to worry about the whole thing, too. Yeah. About, you know, you know, oh, um, you know, person of color. What do you do versus it. Ronda versus Charlotte? Because that's I quit. I think you eventually lead up to like, you know, SummerSlam or Money in the Bank where it's okay. Now it's Ronda versus, or no, no, sorry, Charlotte versus um, Bianca. And you have Bianca win that title. But um, you know, RK Bro won the segment. Um, to get back on time, RK Bro won. Usos come out, confront them. Oh Profits my God! Out. Best best quote of the night. Did your bit? Did the big dog let his bitches off the, their leash? And I will say, Us had a good comeback. Oh, like we didn't hear that shit before, <laughs> and I was just like, oh shit, they clapping back right now. And the fact that he was like. Yeah, that's a good line, but you know we've heard that shit before. Like it is what it is. I thought it wouldn't have been. I thought it would have been good is if uh, Randy brought up um, their DUI. Mm. Cause, cause I'm excited for this feud. So hold on, when you said Jimmy brought the DUI, I thought the same thing. So when Jay stepped out, he should have said, you know, I saw Jay step out from the back. Who's who was driving the car? Please don't tell me it was Jimmy. And like I think that he's like, oh, so you got jokes, huh? You got jokes. Um, that would have been a good segment, I thought, but I, you know, that's just me thinking after the fact. But overall, I thought it was great. Oh yeah, definitely. And then you got a great match between Street Profits and Usos. Uh, I thought this match was really good. Um, wasn't I? Don't let me phrase it. I think the ending segments or sequences was really good. You know. Angela was the one who was putting in work, you know, getting worked on, which I always feel like he's the, he's strong in the group. He is powerful, but I feel like he doesn't do as much as um, Montez, Montez. but I think in this match, he put, he, he was the workhorse in my opinion. Like, oh, yeah, you definitely. know, he, he was hitting all the spots. He was in the ring the longest. And he just looked good. Like as the as the match got on and longer and longer, he looked like he was a legitimate superstar. Oh yeah, he's gonna be. I can't. I hope they don't break. I hope they break him up, but I don't at the same time. So yeah, I feel like, like just look at Otis and Tucker because they end up in another tag team. Like well, they they got something with Otis. Otis Otis is something now, but um. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see them split. They're pretty good. Yeah. Um, so, what'd you get this raw? Oh, we got we missed one more thing, my friend. The end of that match. Oh yeah, the Usos and the. So the Usos end up winning. So they came to Raw. They came. They saw. They conquered. The Tree Profits came over, attacked RK Bro. RK Bro got the upper hand. And they hit a super kick on Randy, took the titles. And I want to see, like, you know, after all, if they actually took them to SmackDown, I think that'd be dope. But overall, the show at Uso's holding all the golds. So, should be good. So, so to answer your question, what do I give this for all? Three hours that wasn't miserable? Bro, give me an 8.8. 8. 8. 
<laughs> I give it a nine. I was gonna give it a nine, but I was like, you know what? They fucked up with that Liv Morgan Rhea Ripley thing. Oh, you know, if they gave us the tag. If title they gave us that, I think I would nine point three. That would have been solid. Honestly, solid draw top to bottom. Did you also hear who's a producer now on Raw? No. Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel's back with the company as a producer. Really? So now you have Curtis Axel backstage, Shane Helms, Jamie Noble, Jamie Noble, Jason Jordan. Like you it's got some lit- pretty good superstars back there. Good technical workers too. I noticed that that the last co- they actually since they fired that guy that like wrote those segments or that guy resigned, Raw's been kind of gotten better. Or it at least hasn't Smack, been SmackDown bad. Raw back to back. Like last week wasn't the greatest, but after the fact, when you look at it after the fact, it wasn't bad. It progressed. Oh, a one more segment lines. we forgot. Uh, the Tommaso Ciampa. Ciampa oh, I don't think I saw it. that one. Oh, you missed that one? I, I missed that one. Tell me what happened. Uh, Z, uh, Kevin Owens is back there arguing with uh, Tommaso Ciampa about um, Ezekiel. And then he's like, he's like, no, it's Ezekiel. He's like, Kevin, they're, the, they're different brothers. That's his younger brother. What? A, what? A, he's like, he, he's like, yeah, that's, he's, a, he's like, Ezekiel is Elias' younger brother. I've seen him before. Like they're really like playing it off like he's seen him before. <laughs> Yo, they're just fucking with Kevin and I love it. <laughs> Honestly, have you ever seen a movie where um ever seen a movie Zoolander? Uh I've seen pieces of it. You know the ending when he's just like Blue Steel, Ferrari, Vertigra, Will Ferrell's oh, yeah. character. They're all the same damn thing. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly how it felt with him. I I thought, I thought it was great. Honestly, I think you could play this character off of Kevin Owens like going nuts, of him and Sami Zayn going nuts together. That's how you end up them two back together. <laughs> Honestly, this I, might I be their be best good. shot, especially if they end it with the tag team team divisions. Then you can put Sami and KO back together. Now that Seth has kind of gone off on his own. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Repeat that real quick. I'm trying to process it. KO's going to go start going nuts because of this, because of this feud. Because yeah. he's obviously going into a feud with him. You have him, you have his equal beat Kevin. Have Kevin just be like going nuts. And then eventually he runs into Sammy. Sammy's still going nuts because of Johnny Knoxville. And the conspiracy. And so now Kevin Owens buys into the conspiracy. Yes. Yes. And he's like, you know, after Stone Cold came over, and you me in the main event of WrestleMania. And then, you know, Elias is out here or Ezekiel. I don't know what he's calling me. He's naming after a pita bread or something like that. Like, like, Sammy, what is going on, Sammy? I've been trying to tell you since last year, bro. Come, come. I got a whole, a whole, a whole thing. And if they, I think it'd be hilarious if they brought back the um, office they used for um, the KO Sammy. What was it? The fashion, the fashion cases with Breeze and Fandango. Remember, they had the little office while the, yeah. The crime scene stuff, and they did that again. So that was that was a great segment for when they did that. If they brought that segment back for the whole you know conspiracy on WWE, I think it would be hilarious. I think they could have fun with that, especially and then let them eventually just win the tag team belts because isn't, isn't that what they want? Yeah, they they can go and become a tag team. They're both heels at this point, and I think you would have a great you could get great merch. You know they're great on the mic, elevate them. Now they're you know, competing and stuff like that. I think you have something on your hands right there. Yeah, and then you can defeat them again. The fashion and... police, that's what they were called, the fashion police or fashion files. Yep, fashion files. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go watch them tonight. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> so, yeah, but, uh, that that's another No, 8.9. 8.9. 8. This show's get, got an 8.9 out of me. So, I, I like the show. I think it was great. Um, Danny, any last minute um, Honestly, remarks or reviews? no. That was a good three hours. WWE, keep up the good work. I'm, I'm impressed. You impressed me this week. It wasn't a chore to watch this show. Clean, nice pacing. A couple things you tweaked on here and there. But overall, I think you guys did a great job. I think um, they should keep the momentum that they have. I don't know what. Definitely. I don't know what they've changed backstage. But whatever they changed, it's working. Keep keep going with it. You know, I, I know we shit on y'all for a bit, but. 
you know, the product was great this week. The product was good. Keep up that good work. You know, it's not, it's not, it doesn't, like I said, people compare it to AEW. It's not AEW. It's WWE product. This is good WWE product. Keep it pushing. Keep it moving. And you can't compare the you two. Have on your hands. It's, if, you, if you compare the two, you're going to get disappointed. You are. You definitely will be. But this like, WWE product was good. I appreciate it. Um, can they be AEW? So. Yeah, but they'd have to, like, be a gringier product, and they're not going to do that right now. So what do you give this show? A nine or yeah, nine. Did you want to bump it up to a nine point one? We'll even out to a nine. Yeah, sure. I'll bump it up to nine point one. Give us there. We go. Nine. We'll bump it up to a nine. So everything at a solid nine. WWE, good shit. Keep up the good work. So this has been uh Dan and Joe from the Bump Boys. Danny, peace. Signing out. Good you good goodbye. Mwah. And good night. Oh my God. Bang!